when you were riding for, with your mom yeah. from Orange County, were you like, because you would show up and be off book. And what that means is Jody would know all of her lines uh, from the script. Right. So were you running lines with your mom in the car on the way yeah, there? Yeah, I'd because just be running like my, I'd just be going over my script in the car. I couldn't do that. And um, <laughs> well, I also wasn't driving, so that was a lot easier. But that's, that's um, true. But yeah, I, I would go over the script with my mom. Like I would just say my lines and then read the in-between parts and just say my stuff out loud. Um, but I've always been really fortunate. I have not an eidetic photographic memory, but I can definitely picture words and th words come very easily to, to me and memorize. And you're so. a voracious reader. Yeah. You read like yeah. how many I'm books? I'm still in a book club. Oh, you know, it's interesting. I don't read as many books as I used to, but I've started reading more and more uh, again because I, I just love it. But um, I also read a lot of like long form news articles and yeah. watch a lot of documentaries. I'm kind of a nerd. So Yeah. As Johnny Carson used to say, that's good stuff. That's, <laughs> that's good stuff. Can you stick around? So you're playing the middle sister on the show. Yep. And uh, you're kind of in that, you know, that in-between age between like Mary-Kate and Ashley and Candace. Right. Like, did you bond more? Uh, I think I know the answer to this question already, but, you know, for, for our fans, did you bond more with Mary-Kate and Ashley or Candace, do you think? I think definitely Mary-Kate and Ashley. Yeah. Because you guys did a lot of stuff together. We did a lot of stuff together. And I think... It's that age, you know, when when Candace was 10 when she started the show and I was five, she's heading into that like preteen, teen, yeah. you're lame, get away from me. Yeah. And she also was the baby of her family. And, you know, they, it always rolls downhill. So she basically, <laughs> and she told me this, she was like, look, I got it all from my older siblings. And then you came along and you were like the next available person. Yes. Just be like, ew, you're lame. Pass it on. And so that was sort of, you know, we definitely had that sister dynamic. And it's funny because I watch, you know, the Oat Boat episode or something like that. And I can see us like, mm, you know, we're actually like having the sister moment. And it's really funny. You know, we, we definitely grew up like sisters yeah, and, oh, and of course. me trying to tell stupid jokes and her being like, oh my gosh, come on, Andrea, let's go be cool. You know, 12 year olds over here. Yeah. Well, and so I would hang out with Ashley and Mary Kate. Cause then I got to be the older sibling uh, and I was an only child. Mm -hmm. Always rolls downhill. Right. So, and I loved being the older <laughs> child, but I also love, I was like very much caretaking and loved doing stuff yeah. like that. But you know, Ashley, Mary Kate and I got into it. You know, we would, act like siblings too it was <laughs> it was like having was cute. a big family that i got to learn all of those life lessons with on screen and off yeah yeah and, and you know me john and bob became brothers yeah you know just like you guys became yeah. sisters me john and bob thick as thieves yeah. like brothers did you think me and bob were nuts no i no. <laughs> loved it oh my gosh it was so wonderful for me because again like i loved that energy. I loved, I didn't get the jokes, but I knew there was something there. And yeah. I was, I was like absorbing the timing and listening and the, just the, the, the banter <laughs> back and forth. It was like a thrill for me as a kid, because that's how my brain worked. And, you know, I love my parents and they're funny and wonderful, but they don't have that yeah. sort of, but they're, they're not as dark as you guys, but they're also, it's just not that comedic, like, yeah. Let's keep let's keep going and keep going. And let's just and, let's just keep going with it right. until we run it into the ground. Right, and that is how my brain works. And so it was yes. like, oh, it was sort of a window for me to be like, there's other people whose brains also work like mine. Uh, yeah, because we tried to be so careful. You guys, were, you we it, tried. It, you tried. I get it. As an yeah. adult on Fuller, I tried. And you got kids, so and I'm I sure. got kids. So I try, but sometimes they're. Yeah there it, and you don't know it or sometimes yes. it's just it's funny and you say it and you go that probably wasn't Be great <laughs> because even though <laughs> because, but, the, but you said it and you go you know i just hope you're funny <laughs> because <laughs> because even though we tried uh we got in trouble with the moms quite a bit with barbara cameron and well that was the monitor and janice fault. and yeah. uh you know and Jarney and, right. and adria uh <laughs> you know i will say that was the monitor's fault though because you guys would be rehearsing Yes. A lot of times, and on tape days, you guys were gone. We so were like, gone, Ooh. but we were yeah. backstage in our dressing rooms getting yeah. ready, and the monitors were on. And we so, yeah. while we weren't present, you guys didn't realize we could see what you were doing. <laughs> 
And so yeah. I think that was most of the time when you were like, oh my, oh, I am yeah. didn't know. I'm so sorry. It well, really was. Because I remember we were going off on something and I remember all three of the moms came out <laughs> yeah. and went, really guys? Yeah, the monitors like, are on. Oh, the monitors are on? Oh, yeah. why didn't somebody tell us? Right. Anybody, please? You just, you don't think about it. You're like, whatever's in the room. And so you, yeah. must have made those rides home. Did your mom say, just stay away from those guys? They're kind of nuts. No, no, not at all. Because you guys also like, loved and cared about us yeah, like we did like family and so you know i mean my mom trusted you guys you know she knew that you were crazy uncles but she never we loved you guys you were family and we still love you guys. exactly yeah, you were family I mean, and you it was never the moms knew that like no matter what stupid joke you were making it was it was because it was funny and it wasn't ever because you didn't have any consideration for the kids. It was that you weren't aware that they were there or whatever. And so, you know, our moms trusted you guys and loved you guys. And you were just the uncles that occasionally, you know, said some stupid stuff. Yes, we did. Yeah. Did your mom ever take you through like the business about what we were doing? Like, hey, Jody, you know, we're doing, we got picked up for 13 episodes. We could get a back nine. Did she ever like go through that with you at all? I mean. I, I'm sure she did. Because it sounds like she really kind of kept your expectations grounded. For sure. And, you I, know, she was very cognizant Yeah, she of that. was very cognizant. And even like throughout the whole run of the show, I remember my mom always saying to me, you know, as long as you love this, as long as this is fun, as long as this is what you want to do, mm -hmm. if you go through a hiatus and you absolutely hate it and you just can't go back, like... Yeah. Tell me, and we will figure it out. That's amazing. And that was never the thing. So I always knew this was my choice. This was, I, I you know, I mean, of course, had it come, you know, push to shove. I mean, there's contracts and things like that. But I, but my mom made me feel like she was there for me. And, you know, I knew that. And I knew that she was also balancing, like, okay, there were days when I was like, I don't feel good. And she was like, baby, I, I know. Yeah, yeah. And that was, she always says, those were the hardest things as a mom is to know that, like, well, there are days that you've got to put the production and tell your kid, like, I know, and this sucks, but, like, this is, this is, this is having a job. And yeah. I'm grateful for it because it taught me some incredible work ethic. But yeah, it was and there's that, she had a balance. There's that old showbiz saying, don't work with animals or kids. But that couldn't have been further away from our experience because we loved you guys so much. We we watched out for you. You yeah. were like our own, you know, our own kids in you a way. Were. And you just you seem to handle it because it's it's business. Yeah. It's business and there are networks network execs and studio execs and people that expect you to perform, hit your mark, right. deliver your line and be professional. You just seemed like you were having a ball. Like it, oh, you I were was. so carefree about it in, in such a tough environment. Um, and like you said, you know, some days, you know, yeah. uh, aren't great. You know, it's, it's, it's tough. You're it's, a kid. A, it's a job. There are days, you know, again, particularly as a kid and as an adult, you know, I, yeah. I'll never forget one episode, Lori had like the, the stomach flu on show night mm. and she's doing a scene and then she'd run back and just, be, you know, be super <laughs> sick. Yeah. And we like had to shoot her scenes out or something and send her home. But like, this is what you do yeah. and this is how it is. But I have never once stopped loving it, even in those moments when I'm on cold meds and sleeping on the floor of, of whatever location I'm at because yeah. I'm like, I just have to get through the rest of this day. I still absolutely love what I do because the excitement of performing and yeah. like doing it is so much fun. And I don't, I, I, I do have a very clear idea of like, this isn't, it doesn't make me who I am. It's what I love to do. So right. there is this sort of carefree attitude of like, yeah, you've always I'll had be that. all right. You've always you've always had that, which I love about you. Thank we, you. you know, because we had an unusual crew. Let's talk about some of the crew people. Uh, we had uh, Sean, Critter, Sean, yeah, Cannonball, yep, Property Bob, Property Bob, uh, yeah, and those guys. Uh, I guess well, we, we had to call him Property this. Bob because that was at the same time that we had, of course, Bob Saget. Bob the dog, Bob Squire, Bob Squire in yes, wardrobe, yes. and then Bob as props. So when you said Bob, three men and a dog turned their head, and we had to start clarifying. <laughs> hey, I got an idea for a sitcom. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> three yeah. men and a dog. 